Hey there, friend. Thanks for checking in. How much does it cost to carry a gun? Many people get their gun. They now think they are all set and ready to carry. But if we break it down and see how much it costs and everything that you need, you may be surprised at how much it actually costs and how much you have to be willing to spend to successfully carry a gun. I've got some examples here. Let's head over to the table. We'll break it down and I think you'll be surprised. The greatest expense will be the handgun itself. It is so important that you find that handgun, that you shoot well and it's comfortable to carry. If it's not comfortable, you're going to leave it at home more often than you figured, especially when you consider various types of clothes that you wear. It, it's, if it's not comfortable, it's not going to be a great carry for you. So I've got a variety of handguns and holsters, so let's get to it. Here are eight semi-auto handguns on the table. I want to run through these real quick and give you a roundabout price of what you would pay at your local gun store. Ruger LCP2, right around 300 bucks. Springfield Hellcat OSP model, $600. Red Dot additional. Car PM9, $600. Glock 43X, $450 to $500. M&P 9 Compact 2.0, right around $450. M&P Shield, $300. Walther PPQ Subcompact, $450. Taurus G3C, $300 G2C, a little bit less. Finding that gun that suits your personality, your shooting style, and your comfort level is so important. You have to experience several to find the one that's going to fit you. Many people have preferred ways to carry, and their holster complements that. My favorite is right here. Kydex offers a good clasp on the belt. It's lightweight. It offers good retention and it's form fitted. The firearm snaps right into place and it's not going anywhere. And, and once, you, once you get that on your belt, you feel confident that your gun is stable and it's not going anywhere. Here's another one. Both these are multi-holsters. All right, this has a carbon fiber look to it. But once again, it's, it form fits, it's lightweight, nice clasp onto the belt, and offers good retention. Here's a better holster. This one's called Blood Red Glock 43X. All right, same idea, and it's form fit. Now, a lot of people will go with something like this. This is a Phobos holster. You see these at the gun store for right around $30. It's a paddle holster. I don't care for these. I know some people may like them. I just don't. They're, they're cheap to me. It, it just it has cheapness written all over it. Stay away from this. This is a $10 cheap nylon holster. This is a Blackhawk. Total garbage. All right, no retention. Cheap little clip here. Garbage. And there have been negligent discharges from people carrying with a cheap little holster like that. Big mistake. And seriously avoid that pay a little more money actually a lot more money now here is a, a holster for pocket carry a lot of people pocket carry not a bad choice you know depends on how quickly you can retrieve the firearm but you're looking at about $25 here there I have the car PM9 leather is a great way to go all right leather is nice people feel it doesn't scratch their gun and they may be right on that you know but you're looking at 90 you know anywhere 80 to 100 dollars for a leather holster this is a mitch rosen leather holster i can use multiple firearms with it so here's the car p9 i showed you with that multi holster but it'll also fit just fine with the leather holster nice strong clip there to grasp onto the belt a hybrid holster is a nice way to go very comfortable leather backing all right actually it's like this a leather backing and a kydex holster itself this one has two clips and then this one fits through the belt all right here i have my fns 9c but the hybrids are comfortable it just takes a little more effort on and off but definitely nice holsters you're looking at once again 65 to 90 bucks for a quality holster it's money well spent guaranteed if you're going to carry a gun every day it is essential you need a gun belt this is a Core essentials gun belt cost about 60 bucks all right it's very sturdy the gun clasps on there quite well 
and it, it's going to be so much more comfortable on your body. Now, if you are going to use a piece of junk like this, okay, standard, this might be fine when you go out and about, but not for carrying a gun. Look at that. And the difference is like night and day. What I like about the core is that you can adjust, you know, by a quarter inch. Okay, you want it a little bit tighter, a little more sturdy. You ate too much, you could pull it out a little bit. You know, just an essential item for carrying a gun. And, and for 60 bucks, it's well worth it. I have several gun belts and I only wear gun belts because I carry every day. You need self-defense ammo when carrying a gun, especially 9mm and larger. Hornady Critical Defense, I found to be very good ammo. It's expensive, all right? This is 9mm, 115 grain FTX, but you're looking at $20 to $25 for a box of 20. You need a minimum of two boxes. One, to fire through your gun to make sure it feed, fires, and ejects, fine. And another to keep on hand to eventually rotate your ammo out every four to six months to keep it fresh. Many types of ammo out there, they're good, they're quality, but you need to make sure that they work in your firearm and you'd be surprised at how often they don't with certain firearms and they don't work that well. So you have to find the right combination with the holster, the gun and the ammo to make sure everything is good to go. There are so many additional things to carry. We could talk about medical, we could talk about multi-tools, we could talk about flashlights, we could talk about mag carriers, we could talk about knives, and we could talk about range ammo. But let's combine some of these products and talk about how much it really costs to carry a gun. Let's start with the Glock 26. $550 for the gun, $65 for the Kydex holster, $60 for the gun belt, two boxes of critical defense, $60. You're looking at $735. Now, let's say we put some night sights on there for $100, a $50 knife, and a $30 light. You're looking at $915 for this setup. How about this Springfield Hellcat OSP? With a red dot, you're looking at $750, crossbreed reckoning holster, $65, $60 for the gun belt, two boxes of ammo at $60, you're looking at $935. You throw a light and a knife on top of that, you're well over a grand. Here we have a car P9, night sights already installed, but if we use this leather holster, you're looking at 650 plus 90 plus 60 plus two boxes of ammo for 60, you're looking at $860. You throw a knife and a light on top of that, 940 bucks. A budget CCW system would look like this. The Taurus G3C, $300, $65 for a hybrid holster, $60 for the gun belt, $60 for two boxes of self-defense ammo. You're looking at $485. You throw a knife and light on top of that, $565. We can't forget pocket carry Springfield Armory, 911 at $540, 25 for the pocket holster, 60 for the belt, 60 for two boxes of ammo. You're looking at 685. We throw the light and the knife on top of that. You're looking at $765. We can't forget about you 1911 guys. Here we have a, a bit of a custom Desert Eagle 1911 at $1,000. $75 outside the waistband multi holster, $60 for the gun belt. We'll say 60 for two boxes of 45 ACP ammo. You're looking at $1,200. You throw a light and a knife on top of that, 1280 bucks. As you can see, it's much more expensive than you originally thought, whether it's a little pocket carry gun like this or a full-size 1911. It's money well spent, and it's so important to carry with confidence so that you have the gear necessary to be successful. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.